Your boy J God, like, comment, subscribe, red button, red button on the right side. Why are we here? Caps going off on RBE. Piper boy talking about uh, pop the balloon or find love. He talking about that. Nothing's going on in battle rap right now, man. Nothing. We got Queen King versus Queens replacing Summer Madness, allegedly. Now, I seen um, a video, Harlem Legend and China Brim. And China Brim going off on caps. How he got smacked. How he got smacked. How he got smacked. 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 By Debo. Now, China Brim going off on caps. For caps. Having um, Sirius Jones on the show. And I guess Sirius Jones said something about China Brim. And China Brim didn't. China Brent didn't like that, man. Now, Harlem legend, man. Y'all, you and China Brim got a friendship. Y'all can diss each other, go off on each other. Yeah, I guess it's a New York thing because if you were to say that in Baltimore, the things they were saying to each other, man, it, it had to go down. They they told they told each other SMD and all that I man. Harlem legend, man. He exposed you the most. He was going off on caps, but he exposed you. Harlem legend, you are a mook. You are a mook. J God, why you think he a mook? Y'all remember when he was on that super group? Y'all remember when he was on the super group? When he was on compromise time? He was defending easy so much, I thought he was in the payroll when the Pat Poole situation came, came and went. He was compromised when it came to the battle rappers. Harlem legend was compromised. Now he'll fool y'all. He'll even fool me when he got at guys like Re Reaper Rail and, and, and Bill Collector when he first came in. But little by little, he became more compromised in, in, in battle rap. Harlem legend! You are a mook. You, that China called you a D sucker. I don't think you swing that way, man. So I don't think you a D sucker. But I think you're compromised, though. That one time that I said he ain't know you, and then after that, he, he, you you went off on ice, and then after that, you ice was in the show with you. I control everything. Now, being a mook, the definition of a mook is being someone who's unintelligent. That's what a mook is. And a mook is basically, in New York, a sucker. So, hold on, legend, I declare you a mook and a sucker. When it comes to battle rap. Now, Harlem Legend TV, that's different. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little different. It really is a lot different, man. You ain't compromised over there. You talk about how you what you want to talk about, man. Y'all be showing paperwork and all that, man. You be going off. But in battle, but in battle rap, you be more... You be more compromised and you be more... Aligned with the battle rap. Hey man, do you? Do you? China Brown talking about how Debo caught 
was about to catch you, man. That you, you were supposed to be cat for real. If you would have said the wrong thing to Debo, you was about to get the... You was about to get... You was about to get... It would have been you. But you kept it cool. It was like, man, I don't, I don't got nothing to... I don't got nothing. Whatever Cap said, hey, Debo, man. Yeah, Debo, sir. What, whatever Cap said, that's what Cap said. I, I don't mean what I... What, what, I don't mean anything I said, man. It's just the internet. You you, you remember you remember Harlem when uh, Debo pressed you that one time? <laughs> you remember that? But it is what it is, man. Like, China Brim really exposed Harlem legend. And, and I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Harlem legend is officially your mook. On too real for battle rap. Too real for battle rap. He's a mook and a sucker. Harlem TV. He not that old old five old movement. What he be doing over there? No, he 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 a hundred percent real. And that's the most dangerous person. A, a person that can code switch at, in a drop of a hat. Y'all know how hard it is. It's a code switch out of nowhere. Hall of Legends doing a pretty bang up job. But it is what it is, man. China, you ain't had to bring up cats being popped on, on, on Debo, man. He went outside and was like, man, where's Debo? You remember? He was like Debo in the back. De Debo's in the uh, in, in. He he's in the back. Caps in the front. They just didn't meet up in the middle. You know it is what it is, man. But it's your boy J God. Like, comment, subscribe. Red button, red button on the right side. And my closing statement. Let's own something. Hold on, hold on. Before I go, I got a question for the Battle Rap community. Caution, 7, 757 Caution is no longer Bricks. Uh, ARP saying that he's retired. Is the retirement at ARP a front? So he doesn't have to pay the Battle Rappers for a big car and then he'll come back and he'll come back next year. Because come back and battle rap next year, because it's really looking like that, man. Because the uh, I don't even know the last battle that ARP really paid for. Did he? Did he pay for the like the last card that that he was doing? I think that was a card when um, Verb was in, but I think uh, Gerald McCoy played paid Verb. I, I think ARP is still running RBE. But they doing their own budget cuts right now. I think they're going to try to recoup some money, um, get smaller battle rappers in the card, have it on pay-per-view, and um, get money off of that. And then after little by little, he can spend more on the budget for next year. I think that's what's happening. Because ARP... Here's the thing. You and Stiz, y'all had y'all back and forth, man. I think Stiz won that argument. But here's the thing. If you passed it on to Wing and Lawrence, Link, Wing and Lawrence should be the one that that um going at Stiz. Not you. You not a, you not RBE anymore. You you not RBE. Why are you promoting this card? That's why I'm thinking that he's lying to the battle rap community. Telling the story on the battle rap community saying that he's retired from battle rap. When the real thing is he's probably trying to save some money. And with saving that money, it's going to help for max out for next year. Or... He, he's doing this retirement front 
doing whatever he needed to do to get a sponsor, had that sponsor in advance, and then after that, he could make a big card for next year. Or later on uh, on the year. Or whenever that bet with math, um, the $2,000 bet is over. But it is what it is, man. And my closing statement, let's own something.